hello all in this video i will show you how to root this box feline so this is basically a medium severity or a medium difficulty machine from hecta box its ip is 10 10 10 205 so as usual first we'll do nmap scan and for all ports feline okay so this is going to take some time that's why i have already done it so this is the scan report we have port 22 open which is open ssh and it seems to be a latest version then we have port 8001 and then we have a port 8080 so let's just see what is there in this port 8080 well line 8080 okay so it says virus bucket read more nothing home blog okay so it does have a service let's see what is here testmail.com then for sample okay so basically it just want us to upload a sample and then it will analyze and get back to us and my browser is taking some time to load okay so it's open now let's try to analyze and it does nothing so let me have my browser configured and try again analyze so it says upload successful the report will be sent via email and if we see this is the report post upload.jsp then there is the email and there is the file name file data which is there and the response is file uploaded successfully so, so let's try with some junk data okay if we try to remove the file name and send it as empty we get this error java.io file not found exception and this is basically an error which comes from uh, tomcat so we have a web server in front and we have a tomcat in the back end and tomcat is showing this error so we have this opt samples uploads we know the directory which is there and let's just go and see if there is any cv publicly exploited uh, publicly exploitable uh, cv or something which is available for uh, tomcat so let's search mitre's website so this is cv.mitre.org this is the website and we are searching for keyword tomcat and if you see this second entry it says apache tomcat versions if I go there, use vaporizer, it doesn't do. Do we have Apache's Tomcat's version? No, Tomcat version is not revealed. Let me try to see if here we can find the Tomcat version. Okay. We again do not have any version details what we can try is 
maybe we can try some file which is 404 not found which may reveal the version of tomcat so here it is if we try to access a file which is not uh, there it gives us 404 error and here it reveals the version of tomcat which is 9.0.27 and if you see this cve we have tomcat versions prior to in between 9.0.0 to 9.0.34 which satisfies this requirement so there's a cve and uh, it says an attacker is able to control the con control the contents and name of a file if an attacker has control over contents and name of file the server is configured to use persistent manager if the persistent manager is configured then there's a chance of exploiting it using deserialization so basically what it is saying is we should have some preconditions to exploit this cve first we should know the path which we do have then second we do have to have control over the file name which we do also have and there needs to be some it needs to use this persistent manager which is configured at service server side so let's just see if there is any exploit available and uh, if we can try if this is exploitable or not and i'm using cvbase.com to search for exploits and we have here 17 pocs available and let's go for the first one it is the most starred one so it has 197 stars it seems like this should be okay it doesn't provide much of details let's see the next one okay so it says we need to git clone it this is the way you create the environment and this is the exploit itself so I found this exploit which I used so there it is I'm going to use this one because it does combine all the steps and we do not require to do anything from our side so I'm going to use this one and this is basically this one from this list okay so if you go in this repository it says all you need is viso serial and then before executing the path you need to change the vice serial path according to the file path and then you need to run this shell file to expire that so this is quite easy to do and let's just create a file exploit.sh then save the content of the file okay now in this uh, we need to change the path of viso serial so here if you see java jar viso serial so basically viso serial is used to generate the malicious session file so let's so see locate instead I do know the position of location of ISO serial it is in op bob suit then 
ओके सो आई हैव माय वाइस ऑफ सीरियल हियर सो दिस इज द करेक्ट लोकेशन कूल नाउ लेट्स हैव इट executable permissions exploit.sh now let's run it enter your ip what is my ip so this is my tunnel ip 1010493 let's copy it and paste it here then my port let's say i want to run it on 4757 let me create a listener as well then we have target ip and the ip of the line is 1010 10205 port port is 8080 then enter your uploaded file path so the file path is this opt samples uploads cool so we get an error here and we got the shell here okay so if i do run who am i here i am a tomcat user cool now if i run linum.sh and uh, enumerate this box i found two very interesting services which are running on local host okay so if you see these are the two services which are running on port 40 4505 and 4506 on local host ip so these two services are interesting let's go and uh, search for port Four five zero five, and see what is there. So this is salt stack, and uh, let's see salt stack. So this is the documentation. We may go through it and see. instead we have this stack overflow th thread what ports are required to allow on salt stack remote execution so these these are the ports used by salt stack let's see if we are able to curl so first we just check if curl is available cool then we do http on local host port 4505 and uh, received http 0.9 protocol is not allowed so and it says http 0.9 protocol is not allowed so what we can try is we can have a http tunnel which may allow us to remotely tunnel to this uh, host and uh, execute this http request from remote host so for that we will be using chisel so this is basically used for tunneling of uh, http traffic and uh, if you go over github repo
here you find the syntax and everything about how it works and how to use it so this is so we need to set up a server as well as a client server listens on the port and then proxy it to the further client or the destination where we want so in our case we first need to transfer this file to the remote host so let's just transfer this file first see if we have we already have curl available let's see if we have wget okay we have wget so we may easily what is my ip Ten, ten, fourteen, ninety-three. Ten, ten, fourteen, ninety-three. On port eight thousand. Get. Chisel. It says permission denied. So let's move to dev SHM. Okay. Let's try to touch a file. Test. And it is created. So we have the permissions here. Let's try to download the chisel here. Fourteen ninety-three on port eight thousand. Then chisel. Okay. Okay. This is transferring. Till it is transferring, we may go. and check if there is an exploit related to sol stack okay. so for searching the sol master exploit github i found this repo in this github repo so this is the usage python3 exploit.py so it requires python and uh, we need to provide the ip okay so let's clone it okay chisel it's been removed so Let me go to the writer folder and then let's clone this. Okay, CV. Then let's say Python three exploit dot py and then master master IP of line which is 10101010205 okay so it connects to this ip cool first we need to download chisel again because it's been removed by the machine so if i do ls this nothing i have to again download it when it's downloaded i will be setting up the server using this command Forty one, forty two percent. Okay. So what it does, it sets up a server which is running on port three thousand, and whatever we are passing to this server, it will tunnel the traffic to this 
होस्ट लोकल होस्ट ऑन पोर्ट फोर फाइव जीरो सिक्स एंड देन वे नीड टू ओके सो लेट्स एड एक्सिक्यूटेबल परमिशन फर्स्ट सी एच मोड प्लस एक्स चीजल ओके नो पीस एंटर ओके सो रिवर्स प्रोक्सी इज इनेबल्ड इट इज लिसनिंग ऑन पोर्ट थ्री थाउजेंड ओके नाउ वी नीड टू ऑल्सो सेट अप अ क्लाइंट सो दिस क्लाइंट विल टेक ऑल द ट्रैफिक ओके कूल सो वी हैव सर्वर विच विल टेक traffic from port 3000 and give it to the local host on port 4506 we have uh, a client which will send traffic to po port 3000 on remote host and it will listen on local host 4506 so now we are going to attack our local host on port 4506 so here i will be putting my ip 101010493 and i need to also specify the command to run so i will be using this okay let's have a listener on port 9999 Fourteen ninety three is my IP. Okay, so I am exploiting it. I am running exec to run this command, and it will basically give me a reverse shell. And here I have the shell as root user. So if I go cd root, if I do ls, I do not have a root dot txt file here, and this is because uh, I am in a docker container so if i do lin enum dot sh i found that i am in a docker container okay if config is also not working ipa ipa does work and we found that this is having 172 ip which is basically used by dockers in the default configurations now we have a article here there is a article here so if i do ls where Okay, so the danger of exposing Docker dot sh. If you see, if you have this where do where run Docker dot sh, this is a shock file, which is used for communication between your Docker host and your uh, host machine. So if let's list the permissions of it. Okay, so we do not have. retried permissions but if if we do curl and try to interact with the host using this sock uh, file we'll be able to exploit it further and if you see getting rc so we need to make a get request to containers json so if i do this request and i'm specifying here unix socket which specifies file to use for docker.sh okay so this is giving the this is giving basically uh, the ids of docker rushing docker running okay so so to exploit it we do Uh, 
we do have a sprite here what we'll do we'll simply copy it and before that we need to make sure the IP is correct 10 10 14 93 okay so this will give us a, a reversal on port 9777 so just create a listener on 9777 and then try execute it in this machine nano exploit.sh nano is not found we may instead download it so we can do wget http 10 10 1493 on port 8000 and the name of our file what is the name of our file docker exploit.sh docker exploit.sh okay give it executable permission cool then run it and i'll be sharing this script in the description you may get it from there and where we had the shell we created a listener at somewhere here we created the listener on port 9777 and after running this exploit we got the root shell here and if we do ls we have we are not in a root directory so now if we are in root directory if we do ls we have this root.txt here so that's it for this video i hope you like it if you have any suggestions or queries please feel free to drop a comment in the comments box i'll see you soon in the next video thanks for watching